So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, uh, thank you, AIOS, and uh, thank you, ARC, for giving me the opportunity to be here. We have heard uh, various models out here of business models, a single specialty, and we have uh, Dr. Arun here, and uh, we have Disha model here, and uh, many more what we all know about. So I'll talk about IQ. You know, unlike uh, Dr. Arun, uh, I started IQ uh, after I was a successful practitioner. Uh, I practice I was doing and uh, uh, doing well, definitely. Now, the initial question was why do it alone or choose the right partner, choosing the right model, how to scale up, where to get funds from. Now, this is when you start thinking about uh, a, a thing which you want to do, want to go into a corporate model making many centers, then you need to have a all, uh, answer to all these questions. Now, when we started, our thought came was that I found a right partner, uh, business partner as a uh, uh, Rajat, who is a MBA from I am Ahmedabad, and he was uh, uh, heading Bosch and Lomb. So, for me, the thing was. I can handle a clinical vertical. I need someone who can manage the operations and the management. So finding the right partner, I got it there. We thought of giving back to the society and going to tier three cities. Now again, when we thought about that tier three cities, in between we changed our model where we started going to tier two cities. Tier three cities, we had a bit of problems later on and it was born in 2005. And But it took two years to brainstorm it and finally come to uh, making a model. And the last point is it born out of fear was why? Because I had a multi-specialty 100-bedded hospital along with the eye center. And uh, in Gurugama, you all know what type of new hospitals have come up and were coming up. And I thought in a few years, I'll be just a small nursing home. And then we thought, let me do what I do the best. And that was ophthalmology. And so I started with IQ. Now, we have need to have some vision and mission when we start this. This is to, we wanted to be India's foremost chain by of eye hospital in terms of both quality of eye care and number of patients. And we had a mission of delivering the best to our uh, patients uh, by giving the highest level of quality care, exceptional personal care, complete integrity to the patient and, uh, and uh, his or needs. Now, uh, why today we say it is an advantage, IQ advantage, after completing the journey, which I'll come back to, we have uh, it. We have around uh, 35 centers, 80 plus doctors, 700 staff, affordable world class eye care. Because we do whatever in every city, we charge according to the ch rates in the city. We are impaneled with all TPA, CHS, ECHS, Aishman, and all these things, which are very important for any practice nowadays. And uh, then we have excellence in quality because we have 90 percent of our hospital class are NABH accredited or certified. And this is something which we are different with and we are doing it and quality care is very important for us. And uh, technology, clinical and surgical expertise, again, that is very important to procure all the latest equipments, IELTS to use them and differentiate from others. The latest machines like the femto cataract, femto lasik Examer, like we had us uh, just had the Elita Silk, uh, uh, last year, FACO machines, retinal machines, all these things, again, you you name it and you have it uh, in the organization. That's the reason why uh, the doctors are attracted to all these big organizations. Now, again, finding a good doctor is uh, who uses the technology is, again, a issue. But with uh, so many uh, of these chains coming up and the doctors uh, learning from uh, doing fellowships at various places, they want to go to different, different new uh, centers and work on themselves. So we started a senior leadership team, uh, which is like this, and we had, uh, now this is very important to form a team. And uh, then we have two verticals. That is one is the uh, chief medical director, which is me, and under me is the regional and medical directors. Then the clinical in charges are there at, at every center. Then we have center consultants, OT staff, and optometrists. Now this come under the clinical organization structure. Then we have the IQ management organization structure, which is a CEO, then a CFO, VPHR, AVP operations, the purchase and supply chain head. This is very important. IT head. Now we forget IT is a very important part of any system, so IT head is very important. Quality head, because I said 90% of our hospitals are NABH accredited or um, uh, certified. Then a head optical sales. Optical sales, like Dr. Kudlu pointed out, it's very important part. And everyone, every chain is doing their own opticals now. 
uh, we have a network of 35 centers uh, uh, in Haryana, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and also in uh, uh, international across, that is uh, Nigeria. And we went up to uh, or around 48 centers, but we uh, closed 13 sectors, centers because they were not either doing good or they, we were bleeding um, uh, money, and so that's why. Till date, we have done, uh, we have treated 90 lakh patients, OPD seen, and 8 lakh surgeries we have done. Overseas, we got an opportunity to go to uh, Africa in 2017. And uh, this, uh, we started our flagship center in 2017 in Lagos. And then we started the second one in 2019 in Ilipuju. And uh, the last one was 2022, which was commissioned by President of Nigeria. Now, uh, why this I'm citing? to a country in an Africa, a small country, it, over the last six years, we have managed to save $25 million of Forex for the country because there, every rich patient will go out, get treated outside, and uh, they will definitely use the dollars. So we have, uh, we have stalled the patients there, they come to us, they get treated to, uh, by us but for retina, for cataract, for glaucoma, whatever it is. And uh, so this is, the story there is very good. We have got a 75% growth year on year. Now this is amazing. This is what we see a uh, new hospital in Abuja, Nigeria. Uh, no pain without gain. Now this, when you start, you are an owner. You know, we, uh, Dr. Arun will agree with me. Then gradually some engineering investors come in, eat up your equity, then the equity, private equity guys come in, they eat up further equity. Now, uh, growth at times is always not as the same as projected. There is a financial crisis in between because of poor operations and management. Like I said, we reached up to 48 centers and closed 13 to prevent the losses. Balance between the professional and family life, I think the, the last session someone was talking about it. This is very important. It took, uh, takes a toll on your family life also at times. Why, uh, when we build these organizations, what all things are very important? Just only seeing the patient is nothing. We all do, we all train for that. But more important is the academic scientific committees we have along with that fund for doctors and the staff is must. Now, we have our own uh, uh, conference like OptaQuest, what we do, it's a neutral conference done by, organized by IQ all, every year. We have our annual meetings, we have our clinical in charge meetings where every doctor comes in and uh, we talk about uh, the future growth, we talk about the targets, we talk about uh, how uh, to keep our patient happy. For the doctors, there are no targets. The targets are with the operation teams. Then there is a skill development. Wherever we go, we take, uh, we give uh, the local people a chance to be trained and come into our organization and take up either the fr front uh, uh, desk or to be a PRE, patient relation executives, or to be optometrists and all. This is what we are trying to do. And, uh, uh, and giving them a training ev uh, month on month, that is very important. For uh, every person who comes in, there is induction for 15 days, where again the skill development training is being given, especially the counselors, the optometrists, the OTA, all the trainings are given, along with the doctors. We can't even say that uh, doctors are not being trained. Now, social impact, uh, again, uh, uh, without doing certain camps, you know, we need to create a social impact. We need to give it back to the society. So we ensure the delivery of exclusive world-class eye care to smaller, to rural and backward areas of India also. And uh, a huge social and moral responsibility is bestowed upon as doctors. We try to do our bit by catering to 2 lakh patients below poverty line, free of cost every year. Now, this again is very important. Now, when you built up this organization, you again aim for getting some recognition and award. These are something what we got it. Best places to work. This was amazing. Three consecutive years, we were amongst the top uh, 50 best places to work in, a, in, in India. So that is a thing which is done by American, uh, some organization along with Times of India, the Economic Times here. And uh, these were certain awards, what we get, just to cite a few. And then you have a recognition also when you are, you know, growing up, you find some recognition uh, in uh, various platforms, you know, like talking here again, I find is very, very proud to be here. Now, this is something what we do. And uh, uh, our journey has come a long way. And uh, this is a small video to show you that. Music.
So uh, thank you very much for a patient's hearing. And any questions, I am ready for them. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much.